Hey everyone, today we have a significant update on a tragic case that has gripped the community. The FBI is currently conducting a court-authorized investigation at a home linked to John Paul J.P. Miller, a pastor at Solid Rock Church in the Market Common. This development comes in the wake of the death of his wife, Mika Miller, who died by suicide in April 2023. Mika Miller was found dead at Lumber River State Park on April 27. Following her death, law enforcement released a 911 call, security footage, and a detailed timeline of events leading up to her passing. The investigation into the circumstances surrounding her death remains active and ongoing. Interestingly, despite the ongoing investigation, the FBI has not released specific details about the nature of their search at John Paul Miller's home. As of now, no charges have been filed against Miller concerning his wife's death. Mika Miller was in the process of divorcing John Paul Miller at the time of her death. In a striking development, her sister Sierra Francis became the administrator of Mika's estate. Sierra alleged in an affidavit that Mika had confided in her about experiencing abuse and violence at the hands of John Paul. The affidavit also mentioned that Mika believed she was being followed and that her husband had allegedly hired individuals to track her movements. Sierra claims that John Paul later appeared to confirm these allegations during a sermon she attended. These allegations have deeply concerned Mika's family and friends. They have held rallies and memorials, calling for justice and a thorough investigation into her death. In response to these tragic events, Mika's family attorney, Regina Ward, introduced Mika's law aimed at criminalizing coercive control. This proposed legislation seeks to address patterns of behavior used to dominate, manipulate, and intimidate intimate partners, including threats, humiliation, emotional abuse, isolation, and financial control. Advocates for Mika's law believe that criminalizing coercive control will provide greater protection for victims of domestic abuse. The community is now rallying for this legislation, hoping it will prevent future tragedies like Mika's. As this investigation unfolds, the community remains vigilant, seeking justice for Micah and pushing for legal reforms to protect others from similar fates. That's all for now on this complicated and tragic case. Stay tuned for further updates. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more news stories. Thanks for watching.